outside the Summit Inn, and uh, they did have my food box, which was good. Uh, I haven't broken into it yet to make sure of all the things that I sent to myself. I think I know what's in the box. I guess I'll find out shortly. Uh, also decided to spend the night at the, uh, the Washington Alpine Club Hostel or Lodge, as they call it. And uh, things are looking pretty good. I'm here at the Washington Alpine Club at Snoqualmie Pass and uh, just took a zero here to get some rest. Uh, got a resupply, got a trip into town with uh, the Trail Angel, and got uh, some supplies that I needed and now after a day's rest and eating some town food it's time to get back on trail. Just got a breakfast at the Summit Pancake House and headed back on trail. Uh, it ought to be about five days from here to White Pass. We'll see how this goes. Well, the start trail starts here at Snow Snoqualmie Pass uh, at the ski resort. As I'm climbing this climb, I'm thinking about uh, that first 61 and a half miles that that I didn't get to hike at the top with the fires. Uh, and Tommy and I were trying to figure out if we could figure out a way to get back up there and do those miles, but we just couldn't seem to find a reliable ride. But now with civilization right here it's just kind of tormenting me a little bit just keep thinking there had to have been a way to make that happen but I really just need to try to let that go if the opportunity comes it's gonna come and there's no sense in forcing it but the mind just keeps going back to it Oh well. That's been a hazy day today, all day. We had the sun come through for a little bit, but for the most part it's looked like this. Uh, very low visibility. Still beautiful, but not what I've been used to. These are huckleberries. And I've been eating these along the way. Whenever I can find them, they are so good. They're similar to a blueberry, but uh, they have a little dimple instead of a tassel. And, uh, and you notice they look almost black when they're on the plant, but then when you take them off, they look red. And uh, there's another one I just pulled off. And they are so incredibly delicious. Mmm, huckleberries. I think they're my new favorite berry. I can get distracted by these. And it's almost 7 o'clock. Uh, started hiking this morning around 9, which is pretty late. And we decided to do a 22.4 mile day today. And uh, it was almost more than I could almost more than I could chew. It's about 13,000 feet of elevation change, both up and down. But certainly my biggest day on trail of this hike. And I'm feeling it. Shin splints, my feet are hurting, my whole body's sore. And I'm just ready to get to camp, get set up, and uh, get some dinner in me and get to bed. So I've been hiking in this haze for the last uh, day and a half, two days, and uh, the guy that I, another hiker that I just passed, talked to him for a minute, and he said that uh, this haze is actually smoke from the fires. Uh, it doesn't smell. It's nothing, nothing obvious. If you look up trail, or down, down trail, depending on how you want to refer to it, uh, it looks fine, so... Uh, 
kind of interesting. Well, it's our third day in a row of hiking in hazy, smoky conditions. And I've confirmed with some other hikers that in fact this is definitely smoke from fires, both here in Washington and also up in Canada. Here you can see Mount Rainier just now 20 miles away. You can see here to the left this burn scar we hiked through earlier today and on the other side of that apparently the trail goes about 10 miles through this burn scar since I uh, rolled my ankle a couple uh, a week ago or more and I'm now experiencing shin splints as a result and I gotta tell you it's making it difficult to really enjoy these last couple days today in particular it's been real hard to, um, to stay present and to enjoy what's around me because I'm in pain and uh, I think I, I might need to take a couple days off trail get feeling better before I get back on because I don't really I don't want to miss parts of this trip just because I am trying to push through this I don't know I have another day and a half until I get to town uh, maybe it'll start feeling better before then um, but if not I think I might, might just have to take a couple days off The shores of that lake down there is where I will spend my evening. Here's my first view of Mount Rainier of the day. I expect to see it a few more times, but uh, it's a pretty good shot. Smoke has cleared away a little bit, so it's a little bit easier to see. Yesterday, it was barely viewable. Well, there she is, Mount Rainier, about 14 miles away. And that's a uh, 14,000 plus foot mountain right there. Really quite beautiful. I'm glad the skies have cleared enough today to get, to get a good look at it.